Hi, you guys want to come swimming with me today? Where are you coming from? Where are you going to? What's your story? We're Hi. lost like that girl. You're lost. This is the train of lost souls. <laughs> I'm from Canada. You're from Canada. You really are lost. miserable, right? Right now, are you marinating in your own juices? <laughs> no. I am. Can you smell me? <laughs> I'm a little ripe. We need to go swimming, you and me. I can. Why can't you? Because, because I have to go home and wallow I'm in my own I have a doctor's appointment. You're going home early for a doctor's appointment? Yeah. You can show no, me. What gross. is it exactly? No. No? Is it alright? Do you have any ointment? No. Any liniment you can put on it, because that sometimes helps. Is it a rash? What is What is the problem exactly? Nothing. No, you it's can tell me. Do you love the thongs? <laughs> Because if you play your cards right, you'll see me in one. Would you like to see me in a bathing suit? Not Very impressive. Really. Yes. I look like milk fed veal. It's nice. <laughs> involved in a fight between this cab driver and the cab driver next to him at the light, which was just me sort of being an alarmist and having fun. I used to live on 175th Street and he wouldn't take me up there. And I got really pissed off. He was trying to charge me $20 to go from downtown Brooklyn to Canarsie. I got off on the traffic side and left the door open. We had a big thing. He threw me out his gas. <laughs> he just threw it in reverse and the doors closed as soon as he took off. So it, it was no payoff for me at all. I think he called me a wasn't a nice name. They never stop for you, you know, they just keep going. Very disrespectful. I think it's a black thing, maybe. My wife has yelled at a cab driver when he was sort of freaking her out, taking her through the park and spouting off some kind of strange political dogma that she didn't quite understand what was going on and it got a little weird. I've not only yelled at them, I put out their windshields, dragged them from their cars and beaten them publicly. Throwing, I, uh... And then after, I'm probably, uh... It's an ecstasy during... And it's completely zen after. I've never had sex, so I don't know. Our mirror's on the top, and I like to be on top, so I don't know. June, I guess something like that. During... And after... I don't know. Yeah. You'll have to ask her. Well, they don't let her husband say this. I have to make that face in front of my mother. I have to make that face <laughs> during sex. Um, just... <laughs> that's during. Don't After it's just like. What, why are you asking that question of anyone? Hey there. I don't speak English. Oh, you speak English, you big lion sack of crap. Come on, talk to me. Want to come swimming? I gotta work. You gotta work. That's good English you got going on there. Look, look at what you're eating there. You see that? What is that? Curry goat. It's curry goat? All right. If you're eating the curry goat, you probably shouldn't go swimming for about six or seven years. <laughs> where are you from? Here. You're from where? I'm from Guyana. Guyana. Yeah. I wish they all could be Guyana girls. Come on, let's go. Take care. I'll buy you a bathing suit. But you're from Guyana. Bathing suits are optional, aren't they? <laughs> yes, they are. Oh, hey! It's a second chance. God has given us another I chance to bond. I, I don't want to work. I, actually, I would love to work with you. But that's another show. We are going swimming today. Yeah? You are coming with us. We're going to go buy you a bathing suit, OK? Sure. All right, let's go. What's your name? Taina. Taina. Mm -hmm. Taina, you don't seem overly enthused. You act like, <laughs> no, oh, another guy has asked me to go swimming on the subway. <laughs> <laughs> Man, not this again. It doesn't happen every day. You don't bump into well, somebody that If this doesn't happen every day, how come you're acting like you're I, in a coma? I can't, I can't believe come on. it. Don't All embarrass right. me on I, TV. Oh, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> a number of times, Vietnam, under fire, don't want to think about it. I'm HIV positive, number one, so that thought came to me many a times. It's scary. 
You gotta be strong. We had an emergency landing and I thought I was a goner. We landed on the fuselage with no wheels. I was heroic in the event, you know. Pulled myself together and helped the elderly out. I was in Kenya and uh, there were lions sleeping right outside of our tent. You could hear them growling the whole night and you're afraid to, to move because any movement could cause them to jump on the tents and kill you. Once, I had a machine gun pulled out on me. I thought I was lying. I escaped. I was going over the Tappan Zee Bridge and a guy hit me from the rear and I was going straight for that railing and oh my god. Dying of boredom, yes, but not of any physical illness. You're watching Subway Q&A. We are at Pacific Street with Taina. We're going swimming and you have to help us find one more person, one more person. maybe two more people. Maybe two. Let's go. In a pool. In a pool. In a pool. In a pool. In, a pool. Uh, in, in the subway Q and A pool. Oh, I'll do that. You want to do that? Yeah. Let's do it. How many kids do you have with you? Three. Holy Three. goodness, goodness gracious me! That's a lot of kids. We're gonna abduct you. We're gonna We're abduct gonna you. Take you to a pool. And your family. We're gonna take you to a pool. Maybe we'll go and we'll get swimsuits for everyone. Does that sound good? Hi. Okay. Mom's here. <laughs> Hi, mom. Have your kids ever seen you in a thong? They've seen thongs, but not me. Not you. No. Today's their lucky day. <laughs> They're going to see Mom and Oh, look at your daughter. Where are you guys from? Cleveland. From Cleveland. Mm -hmm. All right. Here in New York, we have a thing called um, youth services. OK, so, so when you drug your kids and you drag them around, they get confiscated from you, OK? I'm just giving you a warning right now. I'm going to be in a bathing suit as well. Okay? okay? That's gonna be a traumatic experience for you. You're watching Subway Q&A. We are with Tahina and the Sabalos. We're getting swimsuits and then we are going swimming. You are just all smiles back here. What's your story? Huh? You feel I don't really better? have any story. You don't have any story? Do you like New York City? Uh-huh. Yeah? But I don't like walking. You don't like walking, and you walk. I'm impatient with my mom and dad when they get messed up on the subway. You want to come get another bathing suit? Your bathing suit's nice. We can get you something happening, something New York, something bright and colorful and crazy. And just so you know, I'm going to be in a bathing suit as well. Okay? Okay. That's going to be a traumatic experience for you. All right? They're going to be spending a lot of money on therapy years from now. They'll be having nightmares about this beached white whale. Beach, big, hairy, white whale. That's me. Statuesque, leggy, a fifth floor walk up ass. I have all the um, necessary body parts. Hairy but firm. That's slim. A neck that goes into shoulders and arms and breasts. A couple of them. My size is pretty decent. That's what all the girls tell me. And a butt, and a crotch, and some legs. Not much to look at. Pale. Very pale. I would compare myself to the number eight. In shape. Quite a bit to hold on to. It's a beautiful thing that any man or woman would appreciate. No. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> you know, I only have two stops. If I had more than two stops, I'd just get undressed for you. won the lottery. <laughs> if I married a rich husband. Not being respectful for my performance. They were not paying me within the normal range. Almost anything. <laughs> I'm pharmacist. A lot of very angry people out there. And another one of those through the subway would make me quit my job. They told me to pick up a box. They didn't say how big. My children. If there was some emergency or I could help them in some way, I would quit my job for that. I'm actually looking for a new job at this point in time, so. That's why I'm wearing the suit. But one of my managers slammed the door on me, and uh, it was kind of rude. We are with the Sabalos and Tahina. We're on the R heading uptown to get bathing suits. Spence, I need you to find someone who's going to come swimming with us, all right? A really cute girl would be good. She's kind of cute, all right? Ask her to come swimming with us. Do you want to come swimming with us? <laughs> How can you turn him down? 
He's cute. He is. He wants to go swimming with you. He's adorable. He wants to see you in a little bikini. All you know wet. What? That's what he wants. Look, look what you're doing. You've broken Spencer's little heart. He's wiping the tears away. Go hit Spence. Spence, come on. Sober up. Get in the character. Go. 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 Spence. See, look. Look. Oh, don't you feel bad? Uh-huh. You're a heartless witch. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, are you French? Uh, yes, I am. Where would I find the Louvre Museum? In Paris. Paris? What the heck with that? I'm going to the Transit Museum. <laughs> How would you compare this museum to, say, like the Louvre in Paris? I've never been. Yeah. I, really I just like to know. say the word the Louvre. The Louvre. The Louvre. Okay. In an average workday, a workman would haul away about 50 wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow loads. loads. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, so like someone who was um, lifting the wheelbarrow would get paid a dollar fifty a day. Um, some people think that that's a lot of money, but it really was. Who wasn't. thinks that's a lot of money? Um, a lot of people. Children that have coming in. A on little kids. Money. See, but kids don't understand the value exactly. of a buck anymore. Exactly. You'd have to like work ten days of of hauling wheelbarrows to buy one Britney Spears suit. Pretty much. Would it be worth it? At a dollar fifty a day, I don't yeah, think no, so. I don't think so. I mean, she's you talented. She's talented. I like her music. Don't get yeah. me wrong. Yeah. yeah, and she can dance, right? This is actually from the pilot of Subway Q&A. This is early footage of Subway Q&A on the Metro Channel. Ah, tell us about the gift shop. That's another reason why people it's like air it. conditioning. We don't really need to see the, I just wanted to cool off. I'm going downstairs now, I'm gonna ring a bell. Ring it twice. Board. There you go. You know, it's hotter than the surface of the sun here. If you and I were riding on the train in 1917, it would look a little something like this. It would like look this. like this. It, with it's a television crew. Unlikely <laughs> in 1917, because I don't think they had to. Exactly. Yet. Tell me about this fan. This fan is used to keep us cool. Yeah. Like, if we're hot right now, it's cooling us <laughs> off. We can't hear a thing, can you? <laughs> what vintage would this be? Yeah, I'm going to guess 1984, 1962, um, 1998. Is there anywhere we can get an icy cold beverage? The, the Outside? Way? Yeah. Would that would be a nice thing for the Transit Museum. Let's see if we can okay. get them to serve like a, like a fruit smoothie. OK. Do they have fruit smoothies at the Louvre? No, they don't. There you go. So if you're thirsty at the Louvre, you're just as out of luck as you are here at the Transit Museum. They have the Mona Lisa in the Louvre? Yes. You don't, you, you don't have any paintings of broads here, do you? No, we no, don't. Just, just, like just trains. trains. Do they have any trains in the Louvre? No, they don't. So if you want to see trains, you go you to... You better come here. And if you want to see painting of uh, the Mona Lisa... Le Louvre? The Louvre. Le Louvre. Le Louvre. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's nice, huh? Truthfully, I have no idea when was the last time I read a book. Harry Potter's The Sorcerer's Stone. A juicing for life. I'm meant to juice and I even though I'm having this milkshake, but we do, we all cheat every now and then, right? <laughs> the Andy Kaufman book by Bob Zamuda. It was amazing. The last book I read was Atlantis Found, and that was by Clive Cussler. He saved the world from destruction. Carousel. It was one of those trashy novels. It was a lot of, you know, incest and love affairs and that kind of thing. I spent too much time on the internet to read books. Actually, the last time I read a book, I was in elementary school, probably. Shakespeare, King Lear. It's a play, <laughs> but a king. And some daughters. All right, so the best part of your vacation so far? Being yeah. on TV. Being on TV? Met Barbie you met Barbie at FAO Schwartz? Wow, what'd you think? How does she look in person? She has a pink dress. She had a pink dress, uh-huh. All right. Is she is she a little slutty? A little bit? I bought these um, bird cardboard things on strings. Bird cardboard things on strings and you hang them from the ceiling? Uh-huh. I bet that's cool, huh? Excellent. Endangered animals. So that's cool. So when they're all dead and gone, you'll still have them on your roof. You won't care. They can go. Let them die because you have little cardboard versions on strings on your roof. Right? All right. Do you know who Charlton Heston is? You think that would look good on me? Oh, when that baby gets wet, whoo, hello.
right, Sabalo, Sahina, here we are. This is our stop. You're watching Subway Q&A. We are buying bathing suits right now. I like that you're laughing at your father. <laughs> Why are you laughing at him? Is this too large or is this size medium? What do you think? Because they look a little funny at him. What about if your dad wore this? Would you like that? Spence, will you drive the ladies wild if you wear this? Do you have a girlfriend? No. No, a fiance? No. You can tell me, it's all right. No. Do the ladies like you? You put these babies on and you will be a chick magnet. And the ladies, they love to be called chicks. Is the top? <laughs> yes, this is it the top. Is. The, the, the top. Oh, look! That is a tiny little bottom. Good, goodness yeah. gracious! The salesperson is really eager to show off your butt. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. All right. Yeah. You, you like that? You <laughs> want to show the world your butt, <laughs> and the world wants to see your butt. Gosh darn it! Let's compare uh, swimsuits. This is mine. All right. This one I could curl up in and fall asleep, and no one would see me. And yours, you got a. You think that would look good on me? Oh, when that baby gets wet. Whoo! Hello. What's up, dog? I'm not a dog. An American expression I don't like is awesome, because everything is awesome, and I don't think everything is awesome. Hey, that's retarded, because I have a mentally challenged cousin, so that kind of bothers me. Brother. It takes a lot to get used to, you know? Yeah, Everyone's definitely. calling you brother. All right, bro. Hey, bro. And you go, what? Who's calling me? <laughs> forget about it. They don't know what it means sometimes. Forget about what? Forget about what are you talking about? Forget about the whole situation. Forget about it. That's so gay. Because I feel like, I don't know, I'm very liberal and I hate that. I hate no-brainer with the passion. Yeah, obviously, you have to use your brain for everything, right? You know. Well, usually when they say, you know, you don't know. Because they've been unable to communicate exactly what they're trying to tell you. Okay, you know. I lick her. <laughs> When dogs, you know, want to express affection, they lick each other, and sometimes I'll just lick her on the head. How about have her nails painted? She was a poodle. Look good with pink, pink toenails. I used my cat as a hat. Giving him dog biscuits from my mouth, like, <laughs> like that. When I wash him, and I have to wash his private area. With my lizard, uh, I used to have a leash, and I would just walk around. That's about it. I dressed her up actually as a hot dog because she's a dachshund. I didn't leave the end of the tail open. When, where I made the role, so she she ended up pooping in her in her costume. I would be happy to do right here anything I ever did to a cat. I kissed a cat. That's nice. Rough tongues. I made him pee oh. in front of a lady's house because I didn't like her, and she caught me. She cursed me out. Welcome back to Subway Q&A. We just got our bathing suits at H&M, and when we went into H&M, it was a beautiful, sunny, muggy day, and now it is pouring rain, thunder and lightning. All right, little problem with the pool? Yeah. Could be a little problem. You hear that? Don't worry, though. I got a plan B. Spencer, what do you think? We did this for you. Huh? Are you excited? Are you happy? You're speechless. Give there me something. There's not enough water. There's not enough water. There's a slime. Oh my gosh, there's, there's not very much water, is there? What do you think, though? There's not enough water. There's not enough water. What do you think? There's not enough water. All right, the kids love it. I think we're doing well. Yeah. I think watching baseball is a waste of time. It's just the most awful, boring, like pointless sport. No, nah, man, I love sports, man. You get like a rush of dribbling, wishing it was you. Hockey, I like to watch the fights, that's about it. I don't particularly love watching them. The commentators generally say a bunch of superfluous things and it doesn't really add any value. Sports are very necessary and they, they help to divide and make a culture. I think some sports are definitely more credible than others. People take figure skating as a sport. No, no, I, I love sports. We're actually like cheerleaders. 
for a big ice hockey game in Sweden. We dance in the stairs between the sections. No, 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 it's not a waste of time. How are you going to have parties where you drink beer and have chips? I was born in Bellevue. My mother gave me up for adoption. I was put in a foster home in Brooklyn, raised by not so good parents out there. From there, I went up to state New York. I was raised there for about six years until I was 13. And then from there, I ran away. I had to live on the street for a long time, do things that I didn't want to do in order to survive prostitute, steal. It's a very lonely thing to be out there by yourself. I've been very blessed. I may try to be positive. My friends saw more in me than I saw in myself. They stuck by me and they, they nurtured me. Each day is different. Nobody knows how they're going to feel tomorrow, but for today I, I feel pretty good. That'll do it for today's Subway Q&A. We found a group of sweaty strangers on the subway. We bought them bathing suits, and then we took them here to our very special Subway Q&A kiddie pool, where they started acting like jerks. <laughs> <laughs>